Why, hello there, and welcome back to Some Weirdo on the Internet Reviews Obscure Role-Playing Game Supplements. And I am still going through stuff from Zine Quest 2 with A Visitor's Guide to the Rainy City from Superhero Necromancer. A system agnostic campaign setting about a city plagued with perpetual rain, and all of the specific issues that causes. The thing itself is a 60-page book bound in this really nice textured cardstock. I'm sure it has a name, but I don't know what that is. Inside, you'll find information on the peoples, term used loosely, the seasons, which range from a little rainy to obscenely rainy, and all of the specifics of life in the rainy city, things like non-fire-based sources of light and heat for cooking. With the rest of the book delving into the specifics of each district of the city, and the peoples, places, organizations, etc. therein. So overall, it is just a lot of details on the specifics of this one city, and the unique aspects of life therein. Also, the art here is really nice, like, you could be forgiven for mistaking it for actual vintage art at first glance, until you notice that it depicts things like a man getting into a fistfight with an octopus wearing a bowler hat with a handlebar mustache. And that is about it, so I will turn things back over to me as a flump. Thank you, me as disembodied hands, and that is... A Visitor's Guide to the Rainy City. A really cool concept, a ruined setting, but one where the ruin comes not from fire or plague or, I don't know, like, really determined crows. But instead, just from a constant, unrelenting rain, it is very different and the sort of thing that you don't really think about how incredibly destructive it actually is. And speaking of which, very well done, they take into account all of the things like the rot and mold that you would get in structures that are just never able to dry, along with like the difficulty to impossibility of lighting and maintaining fires when there is just constant water falling from the sky at all times. But then they also present fantastical solutions to those problems that, you know, make sense in a fantasy magic world kind of way. And it does go into a lot of depth in little things like the main pests being oozes and slimes and... Okay, I just like oozes and slimes, they're my favorite type of monster. And there's also this whole thing with wizards and alchemists that I didn't even get into. And it is a very nice looking book. Nice art, nice layout, and just filled to the brim with intentional page breaks. So, overall, a pretty neat thing. I like it. I do, however, have one complaint, and that is that the setting itself is so unique that I don't actually know what game I would use it with. Of course, when it comes to problems, being too unique is a pretty good one to have. Alright, so that is it, and thank you for watching, with an extra special thanks to my Super Gold Tier Turbo patrons, Randy Mulholland and SC Woolridge. And if you would like to join their ranks, you can go check out my Patreon, where you can get early access to videos and fun stuff that I make for the Patreon. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. You can always just hit all the lovely buttons, like, subscribe, these other videos that you might enjoy. They're all good things to do. And I will see you next time.